Hey guys, welcome to Blenny Alors. Welcome to another tutorial. I'll be teaching how to make this beautiful sleeve. So stay to the end of this video. Do not miss any part. If you have visited my channel for the very first time and you have not clicked on the subscribe button, please go and click on the subscribe button. If you have been watching my videos and you have not clicked on the subscribe button, please go and click on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell to get alerted whenever I post in new videos i post sewing videos every week so please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and drop your comment in the comment section so straight to the um, tutorial all right so you go ahead and cut your a basic sleeve long sleeve you can cut your basic sleeve so from the tip of this um sleeve i measured two inches so i'll be using this paper for the illustration okay so i measured two two inches so go ahead and measure two inches unfold you can see that this sleeve is unfold so we are going to cut this off it so i went ahead to cut this off so i've cut it off the next thing to do is to place this pattern on another pattern so i'm going to place it in another on another paper so that you can see so i'll be using this for the bigger sleeve or for the other sleeve what i didn't show you there is that i i ruled the middle of the sleeve before i cut it so it will have help as a guideline to act as a guideline for the drafting of the other sleeve okay so i'll go ahead and slit the midpoint of the former that's the two inches i cut off but before then i'm just going to rule a straight line so as to guide me on how to place that upper one or if the two pieces of the sleeve are in the same line so this will act as a guideline so this after doing that i'm going just going to slit the mid point of this sleeve so you slit it to the tip to the tip of the cap of the sleeve so you go ahead and splash it on the line half inches one side half inches the other side so you can see how it looks so i'll just go ahead and place it on another paper so that you can see how it looks because on this white on white background uh, i think you it won't really come out well so that you can see how it looks so this is how it looks when you slash it can you see this is how it looks so i'm going to go ahead and place it on the white paper back so from the apex of that cap sleeve just measure down from the apex there you can see down i'm going to measure two inches so go ahead and do that so you measure it from that point to me the end of the sleeve the end of the cap sleeve here i hope you can see it so go ahead and measure it that way then after measuring that way ensure that it's really it really meets the end of the sleeve over there so you can go ahead and trace your sleeves go ahead and trace your cap sleeve the cap of your sleeve go ahead and trace it so that is that so after tracing it then we'll go to the bottom part of it so this is how it looks after tracing it so for this bottom part of the sleeve you are going to measure three inches then also use it to meet the end not just the end that's a curvy part of the sleeve that's why you are going to use it to meet so i'll go ahead and draft that quickly so this end meets that end as shown in the video so go ahead and do that so after doing that you can go ahead and trace the sleeve 
So after doing this, I'll just go ahead and trace and cut it off. So this is how it looks after um cutting it. So for the cap of the sleeves, you know, the, the upper part will just look as if it's bent inside at the middle. But please just try and draw it um, like round shape. Let it not bend at the middle. So that's what I just did. So what we are going to do is to sew it this way. So you, you're going to cut two of the cap sleeve, the one, the small part, and you're going to add a, a peplum stay to it and use one to turn one. Then before attaching it to this bigger sleeve here. So I'll go ahead and attach it off camera. You can see I attached it and I turned it and my paper even turned. My pattern turned. All right. So this is how it looks when after sewing. So ensure that you cut your shoulder accurately. Don't cut it over like excess so that this cap can sit on your on the shoulder of the client perfectly. So I would love to see the outcome of your own. Ensure that you use a paper um peplum stay at the tip that's the cap of the the sleeve. I told you cut it double and use peplum stay or anything that you had now that can harden the upper part so that it really look it will really take that shape so this is how it will look and even more beautiful on fabric this came out this way because it's on paper thank you for watching to the end of this tutorial please subscribe to my channel if you have not share this link with others drop your comment in the comment section see you in our next tutorial bye